Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalingam Engineering College, Kovil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Operations Research. This is lecture number 1.10, first module, 10th lecture, in the topic Linear Programming Problem. The topic for this lecture is Dual Simplex Method and Problem Solving. We are going to solve problems using the dual simplex method. In the previous lecture, we discussed the conversion of primal problem into dual problem and the dual, duality theorem. Now, we use the dual simplex method for solving the problem. The learning outcome to the students, at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to solve problem in the dual simplex method. So, we solve the problem, linear programming problem in using the dual simplex method. We take the first example, solve the following LPP by dual simplex method. So, it is maximize a problem, maximize z equal to minus 3 x 1 minus x 2 subject to the constraint x 1 plus x 2 greater than or equal to 1, uh, 2 x 1 plus 3 x 2 greater than or equal to 2 and x 1 x 2 values are greater than or equal to 0. So, you, you need not convert the problem into uh, dual problem. Already, we have to straight away, if we consider this equation, straight away apply the dual simplex method to solve the problem. So, this is maximization type of problem. So, the constraint should be, the constraint in the problem are greater than or equal to type. We need surplus variable or the artificial variable to solve the LPP by simplex method. In dual simplex method, we require slack variable in the constant equation. So, first we have to convert the constant equation because it is maximization type. So, we have to convert the constant equation. So, first convert the constant equation greater than or equal to type into less than or equal to type by multiplying by negative sign. So, these are the original constraint given in the problem. It is converted into minus x1 minus x2 less than or equal to minus 1, 2x minus 2x1 minus 3x2 less than or equal to minus 2. For maximization type, the constraint should be less than or equal to type. Now, the standard LPP problem, maximize z equal to minus 3x1 minus x2. The constraints are minus x1 minus x2 less than or equal to minus 1, minus 2x1 minus 3x2 less than or equal to minus 2, x1 x2 values are greater than or equal to 0, that is non-negative condition of the variable. Now, we, the original problem now modified converted into standard form. In the, in the constant equation, we are going to add the slack variable. So, minus x1 minus x2 plus s1 is equal to minus 1, minus 2 x1 minus 3 x2 plus s2 equal to minus 2 and the variable x1 x2, s1 s2, they are greater than or equal to 0. The s1 s2 value are introduced in the uh, objective function, maximize z equal to minus 3 x1 minus x2 plus 0 s1 plus 0 s2. Now, the number of variables in the LPP n equal to 4, number of constant equation m equal to 2, the number of non-basic variables are n minus m equal to 4 minus 2 equal to 2 and the non-basic variables we identify x1 and the x2. Now, setting the non-basic variables to 0, so x1 equal to 0, x2 equal to 0, the basic solution will be s1 equal to minus 1 and s2 equal to minus 2. So, the solution is not correct because non-negative condition of the basic variables. So, the variables, uh, the s1, s2 value, they are taking negative value. The constraint, the solution is not uh, uh, satisfied. So, now, use the dual simplex method. In this situation, when the s1, s2 values are taking negative value, use the, the dual simplex method is used to solve the LPP with the negative right hand side in the constant equation. So, this is the advantage of the dual simplex method. So, when you have negative right hand side, uh, we cannot solve by the uh, simplex method or the big M method or the two, two phase method. So, when you have negative right hand side, we can we can comfortably use the dual simplex method to solve the problem. Okay. The objective function is modified like this. Maximize. So, z equal to minus 3 x 1 minus x 2 plus 0 s 1 plus 0 s 2, which is converted rearranging equation z 1 plus 3 x 1 plus x 2 minus 0 s 1 minus 0 s 2. Now, we represent the solution in the form of a table. So, the z equation x 1 equal to 3, x 2 equal to 1, s 1 equal to 0, s 2 equal to 0, solution equal to 0. S 1 equation 
minus 1 minus 1 1 0 minus 1 and S2 equation minus 2 minus 3 0 1 minus 2. Now, we have to identify the entering variable and leaving variable. So, in the LPP, conventional LPP, we identify the entering variable and the and then the leaving variable, but the here identifying the leaving variable, the basic variable variable row, the basic variable row with the most negative value is the leaving variable. So, first we have to identify the leaving variable or the pivot row. So, whereas in the LPP simplex method, we first we identify the entering variable, then the leaving variable, but the here first we identify the leaving variable with the most negative right hand side. Then they identify the entering value, uh, entering column, the variable with the minimum ratio of the coefficient row and the absolute value is the leaving row. So, we have to calculate the intercept. So, 3 divided by, min, 3 divided by minus 2. So, absolute value. So, you ignore the negative sign. 3 by 2 equal to 1.5. 1 divided by 3 equal to 0 0.33. So, the minimum value is 0 0.33. That is the leaving variable. Now, S2 is the leaving, sorry, entering variable. So, S2 is the leaving variable. Uh, x2 is the entering variable and the pivot number is minus 3. Now, here the current new pivot row, we have to calculate the new pivot row that is current pivot row. So, S2 row divided by the pivot number minus 3 and new z row equal to current z row minus the coefficient entering column, entering column coefficient 1 into new pivot row. New S1 row equal to current S1 row minus of minus 1 into new pivot row. The Methodology of solving the problem is very much similar to the simplex method, but the first we have to identify the leaving variable, then the entering variable. So, using the equations, the solution to the problem, it is given here. So, z equ equation 1, 2.33, 0, 0, minus, 0, minus 0.33, sorry, 0 0.33, minus 0 0.67 and S1 equal to minus 0 0.33, 0, 1, minus 0 0.33, minus 0 0.33. And the x2 my 0 0.6710 0 minus 0 0.33 equal to 0 0.67. The solution is not optimum because we have another negative value here. So, S1 value it takes negative value on the right hand side. Now, once again we go for the next iteration. So, in the next iteration we have to identify the leaving variable. So, the basic variable with the most negative value is leaving variable. S1 is the leaving variable. So, this is the leaving variable. And the identify the entering column, the variable with the minimum ratio intercept we calculate 2.33 divided by 0 0.33 equal to 7.1, 0 0.33 divided by 0 0.33 equal to 1. So, entering variable is S2. Now, again we have to solve. The solution is given here. So, S2, Z value 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, S2 value 0, 1, 0, minus 3, 1, 1 and X2 value 0, 1, 1, minus 1, 0 and 1. Solution is 1. So, here the solution is optimum because there is no negative value on the uh, uh, constant equation. x1 equal to 0, x2 equal to 1 and z equal to minus 1. This is the solution to the problem. We take another example. Apply real simplex methods to minimize z equal to 6x1 plus 7x2 plus 3x3. And uh, subject to the constraint 5x1 plus 6x2 minus 3x3 greater than or equal to 12, x2 plus 5x3 greater than or equal to 10, 2x1 plus 5x2 plus x3 greater than or equal to 8, and x1, x2, x3 values are greater than or equal to 0. So, it is minimization type of problem. All the constraints with uh, are with negative uh, greater than or equal to symbol. So, we can convert the minimization type of problem into maximization type of problem. So, maximize z equal to minus z, uh, minus 6x1, minus 7x2, minus 3x3 and convert all the less than or equal to constraint into greater than or equal to, uh, greater than or equal to constraint into less than or equal to constraint by multiplying by negative sign. So, minus 5x1, minus 6x2, plus 3x3, less than or equal to minus 12, minus x2 minus 5x3 less than or equal to minus 10 minus 2x1 plus minus 5x3 minus x3 less than or equal to minus 8. Now, we convert the basic problem standard form of LPP z equal to minus 6x1 minus 7x2 minus 3x3 plus 0s1 plus 0s2 plus 0s3 and rearranging 
Z plus 6x1 plus 7x2 plus 3x3 minus 0s1 minus 0s2 minus 0s3 and the constant equation we added the slack variable minus 5x1 minus 6x3 plus 3, uh, 6x2 plus 3x3 plus s1 equal to minus 12 minus x2 minus 5x3 plus s2 equal to minus 10 minus 2x1 minus 5x2 minus x3 plus s3 uh, plus s3 equal to minus 8 and all the variable x1, x2, x3, s1, s2, s3 values are greater than or equal to 0. Now, number of variables n equal to 6. So, x1, x2, x3, s1, s2, s3, there are 6 variables. And number of constant equations are 3. And number of non-basic variables are n minus m equal to 6 minus 3 equal to 3. And the, number, the non-basic variables are x1, x2, x3. So, the solution, basic solution, set the non-basic variable to 0. x1 equal to 0, x2 equal to 0, x3 equal to 0. The basic solution is s1 equal to minus 12, s2 equal to minus 10 and s3 equal to minus 8. So, the solution is not optimum. So, we are going for dual simplex method. So, the, the standard LPP is represented in the form of a table here. Z row, we have the values minus 6x1, minus 7x2, minus 3x3 equal to 0, 0s1, 0s2, 0a3 and s1 row minus 5, minus 6, 3, 1, 0, 0, minus 12. And uh, S2 row 0, minus 1, minus 5, 0, 1, 0, minus 10. S3 row minus 2, minus 5, minus 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 8. Now, the second iteration, first you have to identify the leaving variable with the most negative coefficient on the solution side and the entering variable, the intercept, least intercept. How to calculate the intercept? Z row divided by the leaving row. The values of Z row divided by the leaving row absolute values ignore the negative sign so lowest value becomes 7 by 6 which is uh, 1 point something so the end this is the entering variable so for the second iteration s1 is the pivot row with the minimum value and x2 is the entering variable with the minimum value and the pivot number is minus 6 now the new pivot row x2 row equal to current pivot row s1 row divided by the pivot number so pivot number equal to minus 6 then new z row equal to current z row minus of minus 7 is the coefficient entering column coefficient into new pivot row new s2 row equal to current s2 row minus of minus 1 the entering column coefficient into new pivot row new s3 row equal to current s3 row minus of minus 5 into new pivot row so using the equation calculating the uh, 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 values of the variables it becomes like this z row value minus 0 0.170 0, minus 6.5 minus 1.170014 x2 equal to 0 0.831 minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.170002 s2 equal to 0 0.830 0 minus 5.5 minus 0 0.1710 minus 10 and s3 row 2.170 0 minus 3.5 minus 0 0.83012 now we again we have to identify the leaving variable and the entering variable. So, leaving variable with the most negative value minus 10 and the entering variable uh, the z value the row values of z row divided by the values of the pivot row uh, entering row uh, leaving row. So, the intercept is uh, least value is for x3. So, x3 is entering. So, for the third iteration s2 is the pivot row with the minimum value and x3 is the entering variable with the minimum value and the pivot number is minus of 5.5. So, the equations for the third iteration, the new pivot row which is x3 row which is equal to the current pivot row s2 row divided by the pivot number which is 5.5 minus 5.5, new z row equal to current z row minus of minus 6.5, the entering column coefficient 6.5 into new pivot row, new x2 row equal to current x2 row minus of minus 0 0.5 into new pivot row. And new S3 row equal to current S3 row minus of minus 3.5 into new pivot row. So, using the equation, calculating the solution, the solution is like this. So, the basic e Z equation minus 1.15, 0, 0, minus 0 0.97, minus 1.18, 0, 25.82. X2 equation 0 0.7610, 0, minus 0 0.15, minus 0 0.09, 0, 2.91. X3 row minus 0 0.15, 0 0.01, 0 0.03, minus 0 0.18, 0 
and S3 row 1.64 0 0 minus 0 0.73 minus 0 0.641 and 8.36. So, there is no negative value on the solution column uh, for the variables for the constant equation. So, the solution is optimum and the results are x1 equal to 0, x2 equal to 2.91 and x3 equal to 1.82, z value equal to 25.82. That is the solution for the problem. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. Uh, you may find the book operation research. Uh, you can read the book for additional information in the operation research. I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel. Use the uh, video lectures for your better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me uh, for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again in another video lecture in the linear programming problem. Until then, bye.